Morning guys, welcome back to the One Little Channel. My name's Rob, just a quick one before we start. Got some mail in the post. This one's come all the way from USA, from Tennessee, and it's from a good buddy of mine, Wyatt, Wyatt One Able. He's got a YouTube channel. Check him out. Uh, he's got everything on there. Loves riding his Harley. Bit of a secret airline pilot we just found out. And uh, yeah, I say he loves a bit of automotive and learning how to do things and he likes the diagnostic side of stuff. Uh, check out his channel. He sent me two stickers. Nice letter. Cheers for that, uh, Wyatt. There we go check that guy out. So we are here today because we've got in this one, it's a 2012 Volvo V50 D3 2 litre diesel. It's in for rear discs and pads. First things first, take off the brake reservoir cap so when you push the pistons back the fluid can come up into the reservoir. Okay, wheels off. Just leave one on because I'm going to smash this wheel off because it's going to be stuck. So next you've got to release your brake springs from here, stick a screwdriver under there, lever that out and that one will pop out as well. Alright next thing, pop these little rubber caps off the end, one there and you've got one up here. And then in there you've got 7mm Allen key. And then take these sliders out, then it should wriggle free. Let's pull it up. If it, if it won't, just give it a bit of lead width with a screwdriver. There we are. We can just set that aside. We've got the brake closed and the parking brake cable still attached. And then you can get these brake pads out. This is the good side, but you can see where the disc has worn and lipped on the end. Next you've got these two 13 mils to release this caliper carrier. Good, and take that off. So this brake disc is, should be free now. It's not, it's seized to the hub. Um, that's what we get here in the UK unfortunately. Uh, what you can do, you need to free it up, you need to sort of shock it loose, put some, uh, put some wheel drill nuts back on. Give it a good hammer in there. Wheel nuts on just to protect your threads. However, I've got an air chisel, so I like to hit it. So while that's off, um, I've got a thin wire brush I can run around the inside here where the wheel sits so that doesn't get seized on. Pull things well again. So that's that. Get yourself some emery cloth. And go around in the same manner. Fab. A bit of high temp grease, some copper grease here. Should make the disc come off better at the next brake service. Okay, these rear, brake, rear brakes are like the front brakes, you can't just push this piston back, it needs to be wound back. For this, uh, you do need some special tools. You can get a brake rewind, um, brake rewind kit. Basically, you get bits and pieces in there um, like this, and you can get the adapters. This is the one, a two pin affair that fits that piston in there. That will go on the end of your uh, tool. Um, basically, you fit that inside there and then you wind your piston in and it turns and winds the piston back until it stops and then just back off just a slight bit. Um, so we'll do that now. Get that aligned, the holes aligned in the piston to the tool, and then wind, wind it out like so. So that is in there like that. You can 
you see that? There we are. So that tool is in there like that. And you just turn it away. Take it nice and steady. Then back just a fraction. Then you can release your tool. Like that. Now that might be better. The old lens is steamed up again. It's got quite humid. So, there you go. Pistons wound back. So next up, just get your uh, oil brush again. Give that brake dust a good clean out. And then for your new brake disc, your rotor. Go. What you can do, because you've got to put the carrier back on and you find that this rotor keeps doing that. It's got a cap on the end, you can't wind it all the way down, but just wind a wheel nut on and it'll just hold it roughly where you need it. So next, as I say, clean up this carrier. We've got a clean out in here and in here. If you've got a wire brush, do it with a wire brush and then some memory cloth, sandpaper. Just everywhere that the um, brake pad sits, clean it out. I'm going to do it on my wire wheel. There we go, all cleaned out on the wire wheel. So we're nice and clean in there and in there. I've just got a small file and just filed out some of the crap that the wire wheel wouldn't get to. So we'll get this put back on now. So before this goes on, just get some copper slip, high temperature grease in there where the brake pads are going to touch. And there's a torque setting on this particular model of 70 newton meters. So I've got this already set up. There you go. The brake pads for these ones, that's the shape. This one is the piston side. The one with the spring goes on the piston side, and then there's one without the spring um, that goes on the outer edge. Same again with the, with the brakes, basically like that. Touch some high temperature grease everywhere it's going to touch. And that's where the piston goes. And there, just where the legs the caliper go. Sit in there like that. Which is over there. And make sure your springs are seated where it should be in there. So these caliper sliders that go in here screw in. I'm just going to clean those up on the wire wheel. There we go, nice and clean. So I've got a bit of pad grease just on the slider, not on the thread. Just a slider. Probably got enough there for both, for both of them, to be fair. There we go. And then pop them back in. Tighten those the battery spec as well. That's that. Put your plastic caps back on the end. Like that. And then the last thing is to refit your spring. Okay, like that. And just tap it in, make sure you're home. So that's that. I've done the other side already. All we need to go and do now is pump the brake pedal out. And once the brake pedal's pumped out, then you can operate your parking brake. Don't operate your parking brake first. Make sure you get your hydraulics pumped out.
So be sure to pump your brake pedal out like that until it's solid. And the last thing, refit your cap. Well, that's it, guys. That's how you do your rear pads and discs on your Volvo V50. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it's of use to somebody. Don't forget, connect to me Facebook, Twitter, Google. Thanks for watching.